Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to you once again. My name is Nick, we're on the Commodore Amiga, and we've got a game called Jim Power in Mutant Planet, published by French outfit Lauricelle in 1992. It's a horizontal shooter platformer, so a bit like Mega Tarakan, but not really, I suppose. The year is 2088, you're in Halley City, which is formerly known as Los Angeles, and for some reason the president, which is also called Halley, uh, the president's daughter has been kidnapped uh, by Valcor. He's a devil from the mutant planet. Of course he is, and there's nothing better to do than to kidnap the daughter of the president of the planet Earth. Anyway, we've got eight weapons uh, there, which are um, only obtainable through collecting, and we've got to power through and shoot stuff. Amiga 500, right, so I can shoot like that. I can jump a bit. The uh, the graphics are a little bit garish, but it's, it's like scrolling okay. Parallax scrolling, the background is moving at a different speed to the foreground. Now we get weapons, I think, by collecting these green square things, which we can use as currency later on. In the top right hand side is a time ticking down. Uh, there will be pa oops, there will be power ups to try and um, increase that when we go through. So I'll try and keep a look at the uh, the icons there. Let's try and blow that thing up. Don't die on spikes. Good advice, Nick. Good advice. Now, as usual, this is my first go. We all know this. So we don't take expert gameplay. It's only gone your first go. Right, so I think fruit might be strength. We've got a key there, and we need that uh, to unlock the doors to get to different um, stages within the same level. If you had this game back in the day, then let me know. This is a guy that means, not, means business, but also wears a baseball cap. Yes, right, that must be extra time up there, so have a look at the uh, clock on the right hand side, is that going to go up? A little bit. Right, go! Music is quite funky, uh, it's using a bit of a pan pipe, is it in the background, so a little bit mystical. And now there's a horse there, so let's shoot it, it's dead. Okay, right, now, a little bit generic one might say, I'd never heard of this game back in the day, but it's sort of like okay, better than a lot of Laura Shell's efforts, it seems to be quite good fun. Now, what I just sh showed you there is, if you hold down the fire button, you can do just like a, a smart bomb which fires everywhere. So use that sparingly, not just as I did when I'm trying to work out what to do. So left, right, uh, up for jumping, down for crouching. Hold the fire button down and do a super weapon. Oh look, now I've got, I've some sort of power up throwing doubles. Uh, biff! There we go. Can't beat that. If you've got your own super weapon, then comment in the comment section below. Uh, I find this quite good fun. I mean, it's not the best game in the world, but it, 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 it suffices. Um, you know, I seem to review quite a lot of terrible me games now, where we're scraping the barrel a bit, because I've almost reviewed 600. But this is okay. Occasionally we're finding a good one. Uh, some games I haven't reviewed, a lot of flight simulators I haven't uh, reviewed, where I can't make head in the tail of them, but it's me playing it. But I would have given this one a bit of a go. I mean, it's not as good as a uh, Golden Axe, or indeed, well, I suppose it's level with Tarakon the Amiga, I suppose. I wasn't a big fan of that one. Right, time to shoot a white pony. Yay. What a day. Right, so, I don't know why the president uh, is, is uh, getting me um, to um, rescue his daughter. I mean, all the things at each disposal. I think this guy is a member of some sort of, like, a military unit. But where's the rest of the military unit? Where's the aircraft? Where's the tanks? Where's the, where's all the other backup? No, just sending one bloke, as per usual. It's a nincompoop world. 2088. Now, if you're watching this in the year 2088, then comment in the comment section below. As Los Angeles has been renamed Halley City, and is the president of Earth called Halley. We need to know these things. Now, the enemies seem to move in a generic way. They seem to be quite easy to predict here, which isn't a bad thing. Let's see if I can just get off level 1 to see if the graphics change at all. If the graphics remind me a little bit of a fight game called Elf Mania. That might be just me remembering it wrong, or Body Blows as well from Team 17. This is French. I mean, um, I didn't know about this. I think Lorisel, they did a few iffy games, really, especially in racing games. Don't look at any racing games for Lorisel, especially with the Turbo Cup. But I would have liked to have this in my Amiga box. I wouldn't like to pay any decent money for it. Let's get that key there. So I've got three keys you can see in the top left. That's for opening doors. Uh, what time we've got left is a minute, so you can't hang around. Good. And I seem to be getting quite far as a newbie. So it's, it's quite a, it's quite alluring, this game. It's, it's uh, sucking you in. You're not dying straight away like you would do in other games, such as Sunset Riders. Oh, is that it? Me? That's me dead. Such as Sunset Riders on other systems. So I don't think that come out on the Amiga. Right, this is the bit where someone tells me I've reviewed it on the Amiga. Right, go! Game over. I will uh, edit down the load times every now and again, so if you're playing this for real, um, you know, between the game over bit, it might be a little bit longer. 
but um, there's end of level bosses to get to as well so hopefully if I concentrate seeing if I've learned anything there I'll get to the end of level one and see a boss of some description right go wish me luck it's a game designed by digital concept it's a concept and it's digital right good front end on the thing I do like a good front end yeah it's quite nice vibes of agony maybe maybe I'm just slightly uh, agony is a shooter with an owl so we need to get through all this map you are there which is basically right at the beginning so it looks like it's quite a bit of content there to get through it's the brightest place in the world this is Los Angeles hasn't changed much well it's changed quite a lot actually I'm guessing then if all these green crystals are about there's a shop somewhere or does it change your weapons automatically been a bit circumspect this time um, trying to get out of the way of the enemy looks like they take about two shots um, you can lose a few cheap lives here by just falling off the ledges onto the spikes right there are a few, a few things there, that's an extra bit of time I think Let's take them out, not to dinner, we always know this don't take your enemies out to dinner unless they're paying and if they are paying, order an extra big ice cream for dessert that'll show them if you are to dinner with one of your mortal enemies and you ordered an extra big ice cream for dessert, then comment in the comment section below. You sure showed them. He's lost no lives so far. Just take that, my little pony. My little pony, you're skinny and bony. Now you're dead. Ha <laughs> ha Oh man. Carol Van. No, I can serve my lives. I can get to the end. I think that's my, is that my lives in the in the. I think uh, in the bottom left. Is that my lives, or is it the amount of smart bombs? We'll soon find out. Because hopefully, I'm gonna use them all on the end of level boss. See what he's doing. Um, you know, it's not it's not good being an end of level boss, is it? Really, everyone hates you, and you're just trying to defend the area. If you are watching this as an end of level boss, then comment in the comment section below. How many times have you been blown up today? Oh, unless you haven't been blown up, you might be one of those one of those bosses that is impossible to kill. Right, give me the key. Keys that hover in midair are good. I'd keep them on a key rack or a key ring myself, but hovering them in midair is a good system too. Don't get shot by pollutants dripping from the ceiling. I need to get that fixed. Bring a plumber in. If they can get one at short notice, maybe it's a bank holiday. Right, boo boo boo, dangerous. Just to be a bit pixel perfect here, but I haven't been killed by them so far. Now take that pony out. Not to do now, we know this, I've told you that already. Get many you don't have to get all of these, but it's advantageous if you do. Open that door. Boo boo, what is this music? It's nice, it's nice and vibrant. Uh, it's not at the level of psychosis, but uh, you know, I think psychosis would have a, a little bit better graphics than this, a bit, a bit more mystical. But it doesn't matter. A, a reskin from psychosis, that would be pretty good. Imagine that guy out of uh, Shadow of the Beast 2 running through all this. That would be, that'd be pretty epic. Yeah, so let's not uh, let's not uh, judge it like that. Lovely grapes. Do, do, do. I'm liking this game for what it's worth. Not sure what it was scored back in the day. I'll try and keep away from the scores on purpose. We're stress busting in here. We're having a laugh. We've had a friend round. I think we would have a good, quite a bit of fun with this. Da, 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 da. That's the sort of one I want to uh, want to complete. Hasn't got the uh, the awe of the background story of a ghost and goblins, but you know it's a little bit clunky in the movement. Uh, the jumping is a little bit weird, but the uh, collision detection is good. It's not going to let you down in that respect. Uh, yeah, it's got the elements there. Uh, got a nice little game really. Acceptable. Da, da, la, ma, da. A lot of people might not have heard of this one. 1992, but it's in in the uh, in the Amiga's sweet spot. Oh, there we go, end level boss. Now, oh man, come on. Oh, did that count? I just smart smart bomb his bottom. Wait for it. It's gonna go. Boom. No, they are lives in the bottom left. Oh God, there's probably a. Si oh, he's dead. Good. Right, I used quite a lot of smart bombs there. Thank goodness I had them. Is that a bomb up there as well to replenish? I don't know what they was. Levels of Doom, that's good, right, so that was like maybe a midway boss, but the graphics are slightly changing now, aren't they? We're at a castle, so the uh, boxes to collect from weapons upgrades have gone red from green. So I am making some movement, we're in the green territory, and I do like it uh, when the graphics subtly change so you think you're getting somewhere. So instead of the drips, there's barrels now being dropped. Oh, the ponies are still there and full of force. Extra time! Oh god, look at that, looks a bit evil, got to time this. Boom, keep jumping. 
I think I'm going to get this. This was fairly straightforward. Oh, I didn't know a pony would be there. And he isn't. Sorry if I've blown up your pony. Uh, you just have to line up and look. Now, this looks particularly evil. The Saint firing uh, spears. Duck. Oh man, this, look, this, look, this, looks this could be tricky. And there's a spike on the top right as well. Now, this is, looks evil. Yes? No. I got turned into a skeleton. But at least this, the checkpoint is right there. I don't have to get back to start. And. Oh man, right. When you die, there's a small level of invincibility that you can play with. Should have gone past that. Should have used the invincibility to get past that whole thing. But anyway, never mind. Past it now. That weapon looks particularly good. Extra time. Yeah, I've got, I've got a fireball weapon here. Good. So it's not a shop then. The amount of crystals you collect, uh, there you get the automatic upgrade. And you get, I, I sense, oh man, I, oh dear, that was a cheap life to lose. I sense uh, you're going to need the meatiest weapons uh, to defeat the bosses at some point. Now that's enough review really, I could end it here. But I don't want to. I want to have an extra go. So that means I must light the game. Jim Power in the mutant planet trying to rescue the president's daughter has been kidnapped by Volkior, I think that says, who's a devil from the mutant planet, up to no good. Why can't you just, you know, have a game of Connect Four, have a sandwich, enjoy the scenery of the mutant planet? Perhaps I am on the mutant planet, perhaps it isn't LA. Give the daughter back, you Wally. No, I don't know. Why are they always kidnapping people's girlfriends and presidents and presidents' daughters? Just, you know, just, I don't know what's going on. Just have a game of golf. That's it. That's it for all dictators there. Just have a game of golf, right? Here we go again. Music, music is a lot gentler at the start. I didn't notice that. Oh no, I'm getting gradually worse. One life lost. Don't lose your lives. Key. That's the key point. But anyway, at least I got to the end of level boss that time. Uh, there we know to shoot that robot-y thing. Oh no, what's he doing? We know to shoot that robot -y thing. Oh dear me. I got quite a long distance, didn't I, on the last go about losing a single life. And you got you got to maintain them. Doesn't bode very well. I think I'm getting a bit impatient, maybe, or maybe just a little bit tired. Do, 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 do. If you're from Los Angeles, comment in the comment section below. If you're not from Los Angeles, comment in the comment section below, but let me know which one you are. Yeah, that must be that must generate a bit of activity on the channel. There's a lot of people from Los Angeles and not from Los Angeles. Probably the whole world. That's 8 billion comments. So that's that sorted out then. Do, 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 do. Forward, big nose. Yeah, cut through here. Right, this isn't a walkthrough, a bit late to say that now. If you like, if you like in your Commodore Amiga stuff, uh, there are, we've got lots of reviews in a playlist, um, you know, reviewed as equally as bad as this. Uh, if you get there, there's a link in the comment sec in the description, I should say. Or you can click on my username, take to the channel page, click on the playlist tab there, uh, shows your Amiga and other systems. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already, because that means you're the kind of nincompoop that likes this kind of guff, and I'm the kind of nincompoop who likes producing it when I'm not too busy. Ma massive thank you to the members. This, we do about six videos a week at time of recording. Uh, gameplay videos anyway. I'd like to do other stuff, but you know, I've got to work as well. It's very, very tough keeping the whole thing on the road, Toad. Oh man. Come on. Come on, come on. Well, I do enjoy myself playing. I do enjoy myself playing, that's for sure. Oh no! This is a nincompoop go. Well, I won't have another go after this. I, I could be, I could be quite happily playing this all day, you know. But that that video will be too long. No one wants to watch an all day video of me just talking absolute nonsense, because that'll rub off into your everyday life, and you'll turn into a nonsense person as well. Unless, unless of course you're a nonsense person already. And if you are, then you've done well finding this channel. That's for sure. It has people that try and copy me, but they're making up the nonsense when my nonsense is inherent. Hooray! Is that good? Don't know. Right. Da, 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 da. Right. Shoot that dragon. I think this is my last life, is it not? It might be. It's one of those bits where is it got one life left, or is it is it one after the uh, the uh, lives on the left have disappeared? Right. Okay. Now it's best to shoot the enemies before they had a chance to get fully on the screen. That's true of a lot of games. Give them, shoot them before they got a chance to actually get on there. Da -da. I don't think they know they're not on the screen. They think they're just a bit further away, but they're not. I mean, they don't seem to know I'm there. They're just walking backward and forward and pre-set pre stuff like automatons in a computer game. 
Bah, bah. I've been playing this way too long. We, the only video should be about 10 minutes long. If I'm enjoying myself, because obviously I am here, they go on a bit longer. Don't know the exact time, but it is a bit long. If you're still here, then well done you. You obviously are hardcore. No. Yeah, this is this is better than a lot of the Amiga games we review. Excellent. I'm quite surprised, really. I wasn't expecting something quite as good as this. It's all right. It's, as I say, it's not the uh, the greatest, but uh, it's got a lot of stuff there to admire. Uh, it's got an originality to it, which isn't easy to do with the genre. It's got end of level bosses. They're quite entertaining. Uh, eight weapons. That is quite good. And it's game over again. Well, I really like that game. I thought it was pretty good. I liked it. I would have played it quite a bit back in the day. It would have come out of the box uh, quite a lot. So I hope you liked having a look at that one. I enjoyed playing it. Great fun. And I don't want to get a bit further as well. I wonder if there's any cheat modes out there. Anyway, that was Jim Power in Mutant Planet on the Commodore Amiga, posted by Lois Shell in 1992, a horizontal shooter platformer thing. If you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, or indeed Commodore Amiga, put that in the comment section below. You're more than welcome. And until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye. Take them out, not to dinner. We always know this. Don't take your enemies out to dinner unless they're paying. And if they are paying, order an extra big ice cream for dessert. That'll show them. My little pony, you're skinny and bony. Now you're dead. Ha ha ha. Oh no, what's he doing?